Hey guys, it's your girl Misty Eyes and I'm here with a quick Misty Minute about my day job. I actually work now for a nonprofit organization, social service organization called SunServe. S-U-N-S-E-R-V-E dot org. Check it out. I am one of the educators and trainers. I go to corporate America and I do trainings on lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer gender bias trainings for the workplace and I really go into a lot of trans facts as in why on earth would somebody choose to be trans? What if it wasn't a choice? Because it's in your DNA and I talk about scientific facts. I also talk about historical facts. Do you know when the first ever trans person existed? Not the sexual reassignment surgery or gender confirmation surgery. First transgender person ever. 10,000 years ago, 7,000 BC, the Neolithic and Bronze Age cave drawings had trans people, men and women, and female hair, female breasts with male genitalia. Bam! Trans people have been around since the beginning of ever. The archaeologists did not have a word. Transgender did not become a word until 1910. Transsexual became a word in 1921. Thank you, Dr. Magnus Hirschfeld, who did the first ever sexual reassignment surgery in 1921. You might have seen the movie called The Danish Girl. And, but before that word existed, they were called, we were called, third sex. Google third sex throughout history, bam all over the place. But wait a minute, if trans people have been around since the beginning of ever, why is it such a social phenomenon now? It's not. In fact, before Christianity took over, every religion believed in reincarnation and there are many countries that still worship the third sex person. The two spirits are worshiped by the Native Americans, the Arnudic in Alaska, the Mushi in Mexico, then we also have the Fafime from Samoya, the Hedras from India, and the Katoi from Thailand. It's still a thing. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. I do education and trainings for corporate America. I'm also one of the case managers in the transgender services department. I am helping all trans people get on your HIV meds. I'm helping girls get back on legit hormones from a doctor, whether you're HIV positive or HIV negative. And that's awesome because there's so many girls out there that are black market self-medicating. And if you're not doing it correctly, you could really mess up your body your liver functions, etc. You need to watch your doses, you need to watch your levels, and a doctor can help you with that. I can help you get on meds, even if you don't have insurance. So, helping the girls get on medication if they're HIV positive, helping them get on medication on hormone replacement therapy. I'm also helping girls get their WPATH letter, the World Professional Organization for Transgender Health, WPATH.org. We're helping girls get this letter. This is the letter that tells you that you are gender dysphoric and you need hormones. This letter goes into your permanent record and it protects you and it follows you. It help, follows you when you get your name change, it follows you when you get your gender marker change, it follows you to help you get your hormones. I'm also helping people get um, on PrEP. HIV can end in our generation completely. If the positive people took their meds, Undetectable equals untransmittable. This is called treatment as prevention. If you treat yourself and your HIV, you can prevent giving it to other people. HIV negative people, we need to be on PrEP, pre-exposure prophylactic. It will stop HIV. It's been tested for five years with magnetic couples. HIV positive men, HIV negative women. For five years, if they did not, if they took their pill every day, once a day, they did not get positive. In fact, some women got pregnant, they stayed negative, and the baby stayed negative. Condoms are 70% effective. Truvada as PrEP is 92% effective. It's better at prevention than condoms. You still want condoms because obviously syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia is not prevented from Truvada. Okay, I'm also helping people get their gender markers and name changes. Actually, my friend, my coworker Santi does that mostly um, in the transgender services department. Uh, what else are we doing? Any hurdle that you see 
and or need in the trans community, we are helping you. Um, I'm also referring people to breast implants. I'm also helping people get laser hair removal. Um, linkage to care for anything, anything that you think you need, I can probably help you find it. Um, yeah, so I will put my email here, my work email, and my work phone number. If you want anything that I can help you with, please, if you need a training or a corporate, if you need me to speak at your organization, I will come. If you want to get on pills, if you need to get on your WPATH letter, bam, I got you. We got you. We have an amazing transgender services department. I work with Santi and I work with Emily and I work with Brian. And together we make a very unique family in and out of the trans services department, but we're all a team in the office and uh, we got you. Anyways, that was Misty Eyes. Please utilize me. Make me work for you. Loving you is easy.